We have recently explored parallel routes and intercepting routes, two powerful routing patterns in the app router. Now, let me show you how these patterns work together through a practical example. Remember this photo feed example I mentioned earlier? I'll demo this and break down the code to help you understand how it all works. Let's start with the demo. At localhost 3000 slash photo hyphen feed, you will see an image feed showing the seven new wonders of the world. Click any image and a modal appears with an enlarged version of that image, along with details like the name, photographer, and location at the bottom. What's happening here is really interesting. We're looking at a parallel route that has been intercepted. While the URL changes to slash photo feed plus the image ID, what you are seeing is a parallel intercepted route rendering within the same layout with the photo feed visible in the background. This is crucial because Without the modal parallel route, clicking a photo would completely replace the page content instead of showing an overlay. And here's something even cooler. Normally with modals, hitting the browser's back button would take you to the previous page instead of closing the modal. But parallel intercepting routes solve this elegantly. Notice how the back and forward browser buttons smoothly open and close the modal. And here is another neat feature. If you share the URL with someone or just refresh the page, it loads the photo details on a fresh page. This makes parallel intercepting routes perfect for modals. You can apply the same principle elsewhere too, like having a login button that opens a modal, but accessing slash login directly shows you a full login page. Now that you've seen it in action, let me walk you through the steps to create this. You'll find all the code in the photo feed folder in my GitHub repo, and the modal component is defined in components folder. Step one, gather your images and put them in a photos folder inside the photo feed folder. We have seven images. Step two, create a TypeScript file to import these images and organize them into an array with metadata. Each wonder in our array needs an ID, name, source, photographer, and location. Step three, set up a page.tsx file in the photo feed folder to display your image list using the wonders array. I went with Taven CSS for styling, but use whatever styling you prefer. Wrap each image in a link component pointing to slash photo feed followed by the image ID, one through seven. This page creates your main photo feed at localhost 3000 slash photo feed. Step four, create your photo details dynamic route. Inside the photo feed folder, add an ID dynamic route. This route grabs the ID parameter, finds the matching photo from the wonders array and displays its details. Photo name, image source, photographer name and location. When someone visits slash photo feed slash ID, like two for Petra, they'll see the wonder details. Now for the crucial part. Step five is intercepting navigation between the feed and details. Since we want a modal overlaying the feed, we'll start with a parallel route. Create a modal as a parallel route in the photo feed folder and include it in layout.tsx, props.modal. This at modal route is special because it enables simultaneous rendering. Both the feed content and the modal can exist on the screen at the same time. For interception, modal parallel route is the source and the ID route is the destination. So inside the modal source folder, add a new folder that matches the destination folder name. In this case, it is ID dynamic route. Since modal is a parallel route, a prefix needs to be dot within parentheses to match the same level. Within this folder, create a page showing photo details similar to the main dynamic ID route. I moved photo name from the top to the bottom to demonstrate how you can have different UIs for each route. Step six, add a default.tsx file to the modal parallel route folder. This file is used to render the modal content when the route is first loaded. We simply return null. Now here is what happens behind the scenes. When you first load slash photo feed, Next.js renders both the modal route, which starts empty thanks to default.tsx, 
and the main content present in page.tsx. Then when you click an image, the modal route intercepts the navigation to slash photo feed slash ID. This displays the modal overlay while keeping your main photo feed visible underneath. When you reload the page, there is no interception and the ID dynamic route is rendered instead. I hope this example helps you understand how parallel intercepting routes work together. All right, this wraps up page-based routing in XJS. We will dive into route handlers. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.